So, hope you are all uh, <clears throat> having a great week. Hope you all had a great uh, Independence Day. If you if you're an American, uh, obviously celebrate it. Um, well, everyone else's Fourth of July was really good, wherever you are in the world. Um, but today I'm here to talk about uh, sort of like the last film in that trilogy I mentioned uh, early on. Uh, a few weeks ago that began with The Room. Um, and this film is Best Friends, which, you know, has a parentheses over the R because you could be Best Fiends. Um, you know, this was originally a one film. Apparently it had its premiere in 2017 in a long form. Um, you know, like a 198 minute run, I believe. Um, but then it was split into two parts because otherwise, you know, obviously it would be over three hours long. Though it's kind of interesting how, <clears throat> you know, 2017 had like a premiere at a film festival, I believe, or at least somewhere. And then 2018 uh, uh, split in ha uh, half, basically. And then two parts were released and, uh, yeah, so this is the uh, exclusive limited edition Blu-ray. Um, now, I, I don't know if this film is streaming somewhere, but, um, you know, I uh, I don't know. Uh, I believe you can get it digitally, at least. Um, obviously, I have the Blu-ray, so I don't really need to worry too much about the... Uh, Digital, I mean, I have it, like, uh, voodoo, but beyond that, I really, uh, just primarily just watched the Blu-ray. Um, it, and honestly, the, it's, it's, this is a film that, um, Greg Sestero wrote, um, because, you know, it was like a, a 15 years since they did The Room. You know, it, both parts came out properly to the public, uh, and limited release in 2018, um, <clears throat> and this came about because, uh, you know, uh, uh, Greg Sestero watched a, uh, a rough cut of The Disaster Artist, which we talked about last week, you know, based on his book. And so, you know, he sort of felt quite a bit of sympathy towards uh, Tommy Wiseau, his best friend, and decided to write a film that would star the two of them, just like The Room. And um, Greg also produced this film along with starring in it. So in a lot of ways, this is a Greg Sestero sort of driven film. He didn't direct it, but he primarily, you know, he was the driving force as a writer, producer, and co-lead of the film. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, he, he wrote... Tommy Wiseau, this character of Harvey, who is a mortician, who, you know, he does his best to give people who have been bad at horrible accidents back new faces. That way, when they're put into the ground, they do not look how they uh, did prior. And um, he also takes the teeth out. And Greg Sestero's character, um, uh, John, who is a, you know, he's a homeless drifter who meets Harvey, and eventually the two of them are working together, and, uh, you know, with the gold teeth that he's, you know, uh, that Harvey has, he, you know, he first sells some, gets some money, and then he, uh, tells, uh, Harvey about it, and then the two of them, you know, go into the business of selling off a good amount of the gold, gold teeth and uh, other, you know, other fillings and stuff like our teeth that are like, like silver or what have you, um, that people might have when they pass on. So, yeah, he takes that and then he, uh, they, they take that, all that, and then they just uh, uh, are making quite a bit of money. And, um, he also uh, uh, 
John meets a woman at a bar who works as a bartender uh, named Tracy. They get into a relationship, and then the two, you know, as things go on, uh, you know, John believes that he's taking his money because he's not giving it to him, and he believes he's just blowing it on, you know, whatever. He gets a car. It's very expensive, and so he believes he's taking the money, both of them earned from the gold and everything they're supposed to split in half and uh you know he believes he's just stealing it from him and uh you know they keep him this money in in harvey's place at uh inside an atm which is actually a safe um and you know a lot of things uh, spiral out of control from there and um if you haven't seen these this film it really is one film. It's like Kill Bill. It's one movie, but split in half because of the runtime. Um, <clears throat> so if you haven't seen this, you know, I don't wanna, really want to say any more because, you know, it's a very good film. And honestly, uh, Greg Sister wrote a really good part for um, Tommy Wiseau. He, you know, he he's known he's known Tommy for years, and yeah, you know, even though this is the first film since The Room that he acted in. At the same time, you know, they uh, they were very, uh, you know, they kept uh, kept talking all the time and, you know, doing, just hanging out and all that good stuff. So they were, all, they were, they, they never uh, truly um, were ever apart from each other. But, you know, the, you know, with him knowing Tommy as well as he does makes sense that he'd be able to write a part for Tommy that would be very, you know, suitable. And, uh, so it, it's, it, and Harvey is a very interesting character, like, like Tommy is, you know, and I say that in the best way. And, um, of course, all these things, of course, in volume two get wrapped up as to what, what, what has been going on. And it's just a, it's a really cool film. I really, uh, I would say if you like The Room, you know, obviously it's a cult film and, you know, it's like a, you know, obviously like a so bad it's good type film, often cited as the Citizen Kane of bad films. Um, there are people who uh, call it that, others don't, but regardless, you know, uh, you know, The Room has a lot of, uh, it is an interesting film, it's one that needs to be seen. And, and experienced um and i think if you really enjoy the room you will enjoy this um the director of this film is um justin mcgregor um whose work i am not familiar with but he does a very good job and um yeah this uh this is a very good uh just an excellent film um Playboy says, compared to The Room, this is Citizen Kane. Um, you know, obviously everybody uh, will be... <clears throat> everybody's going to be, you know, think, uh, see it differently. But this is a really good film, really good, uh, competent film. It's a kind of movie that, uh, you know, it's like a... You know, a lot about friendship and... Uh, uh, you know, it's like uh, greed and everything. Just uh, it's just a very good film. Uh, honestly, it's it's one that you know I could summarize it the best I can, which I kind of did. But at the same time, that doesn't really do it justice. It's the kind of movie that you know needs to be seen. So I don't know where this again would be streaming if it is streaming anywhere. But if uh, you can find it on. Definitely on Voodoo. I don't know about iTunes or any other uh, uh, <clears throat> video platform where you can buy stuff like, uh, I don't know, like Google Play. I don't know if that's still a thing. I know Google was getting rid of a bunch of stuff, so that might still be a thing. But um, I don't believe this is uh, this Blu-ray is uh, being made anymore. Obviously, this is an exclusive limited edition, so... 
yeah. And I, I did look just to see where if anything could come up, and it looks like a lot of people, you know, if you want to get it, it's like it's being sold. Either it's used or people still have it and it's wrapped. But, of course, those are very expensive, so... I would say if you want to own this film physically, you know, just make sure you know what you're uh, getting into in the sense that, you know, how much do you like the, love the room, like the room, well, love the room. And, um, if it would be worth a pretty high price or not, um, that's all I would say. I don't want to really uh, say more. It's just the kind of film that I think seems appropriate for, you know, the two of them to do later on. You know, a lot of people are like, you know, The Room was an unintentional comedy because of, you know, writing and acting and other decisions that made this, that made that film like a masterpiece of, you know, just like, just words are not good enough for The Room. It's like, it really is an experience. And this film is like a culmination of, you know, yeah, one of them who is now is doing the guy, doing the writing and the producing as well as acting, but now has somebody else to direct it, and it's just, it's just very well done. I, I really enjoy this film. If you like The Room, I think you will enjoy this. Um, I know I'm not getting too uh, detailed with this film, but I know that there are people who haven't seen this, and so if you have not seen it, I believe you should watch it. You should... Uh, Try to find it, you know, if it's physical, you know, find it uh, at a price that's reasonable to you. Obviously, you do not pay more than you can afford. Um, <clears throat> so maybe, you know, digital might be a good place. And then from there, if you like it enough to own it, then great. Um, but yeah, uh, if anything, just do that. Um, but I know there are some people who are really sticklers for physical media, so... Just just, uh, just be aware that it's fairly pricey. It can be very pricey out there uh, in the world of eBay and uh, Amazon with sellers and all that. So just, uh, just wanted to highlight this film, which people talked about it a, a good amount, but when it came out, but afterwards, you know, it kind of came and went and you know, had its time, but, you know... Uh, Greg Sestero is now directing stuff. I haven't seen his uh, like directorial debut, but he is sort of like crowdfunding a new film, <clears throat> you know, with uh, like sci-fi and aliens and such. So, yeah, uh, I want to look at um, <clears throat> his stuff, his new stuff uh, that he's been doing. Um, Hopefully I'll be able to at least find a copy of his first uh, film on Blu-ray. And if I get that at some point, I'll probably talk about that. As well as w whenever the new film uh, is out. You know, uh, I know for the crowdfunding, if you, one of the perks or uh, rewards is uh, you'll be able to get a Blu-ray of it um, once it's finished. And hopefully they'll actually, you know, release it uh, 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 quite wide, widely also. Sort of like this was, at, at least for a while, you know, exclusive limited edition. So, yeah. But I really think that's it. I don't really have too much more to say. I don't want to spoil this again. Um, it isn't one that is talked about as much in the world of the, the room as well as the disaster artist, the book and film. Oh. All those things seem to really dominate the discussions uh, between these two working together in, in creative ways. But Best Friends is one that I think is worth watching if you enjoy The Room. I recommend it. And I'm pretty sure other people have too. Um, yeah. You know. Uh, and when I, when I say you sympath Greg was sympathetic towards Tommy, it was like, you know, they hadn't worked together in a while and... Also, you just saw how the film disaster artist really painted uh, Tommy. Obviously, it is a bit different from his book. You know, you know the book highlights uh, a good. It's a good balance of some of Tommy's 
negative aspects when making the room as well as other instances as well as is positive you know he's a very good balanced book and i would say the book is more positive towards tommy than negative um but you know the film does uh, touch on some of the negative stuff about tommy and you know and this film is just very good you know tommy wiseau no doubt uh, <laughs> had his own hand in certain aspects with the character because I just believe that's what Tommy would do, because, you know, it's Tommy Wiseau, you know. And uh, what better person to write a part for him than his best friend, Greg? I mean, obviously, Tommy would be the <laughs> big answer there, obviously, but Greg knows him very well, and I think he, gave, he wrote him a part that was uh, uh, very well done. And, uh, yeah. I enjoyed this film. And uh, ho hopefully you will too if you haven't seen it. Um, but if you have seen it, what do you think? Do you enjoy this film? Do you think it's uh, as good as the the room or the end of the disaster artist? Um, let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Hope you're all having a great day and a great week. And just take care.